Welcome back. As usual in this section, we applaud politicians and individuals who've done well and continue to expose those who fail our people. First, our winner of the week. While the political stage is full of noise and fury, South Africans continue to shine and build a united South Africa on the sporting front. Springbok captain Siako Lisi led his team to an impressive victory in the first test against England on Saturday. The Blitzbox won, won the World Rugby Seven Series Championship and the Proteas women's team won a seven-weekend victory over England. But the wonder of South Africa was at the Comrades Marathon as Bong Musam Tembu and Anne Ashworth won the men's and women's races in spectacular fashion. As commentator Rili Klavi said, this was South Africa in its splendor and complexity. It was South Africa as it should be. The human spirit, the human being at his or her best, building and uniting our country. And so our winners of the week are Bong Musam Tembu and Ashworth and all the Comrade Marathon participants. And now to our loser of the week. What do tin pot dictators do? Mobutu Sasasoko of Zaire built an airport in his village while his fellow citizens starved to death. In the northwest province, it emerges that the mayor of Koster, Kim Midupi, who is now in hiding after her house was burned down by angry residents, built a tarred road to her own guest house while, says the Sunday Times, she ignored the dusty road to the local hospital. Listen to that again. She tarred a road to her own guest house while ignoring the road to the local hospital. Such people should be jailed. And so our loser of the week is. Kim Midu, the mayor of Costa. They must not allow her back to the town. What a big loser. That's how we come to the end of our show. Email us on justicefactor at enca.com, tweet us on at justicefactor, and like us on Facebook. Do join us next week for more news, views, and debates. My name is Justice Malala. Have a fantastic week.